Today I'm going to share with you all the stuff that I use to create every single one of my realistic drawings and I'd highly recommend sticking around for the entire video because I deem everyone as being pretty essential to my drawing method. So the first thing we need is paper and the stuff that I use is Daler and Rowney smooth heavyweight paper and the reason I want it to be smooth is so that the coloured pencils on top look really smooth because a lot of the times I'm drawing cars but even when you're drawing animals you still want it to be smooth because you don't want loads of paper grains showing through and having a sketchy look when especially when you're doing realism and one thing about this paper as well is it's 220 20 GSM, which means that it can handle loads of pigment on top without tearing and crimpling. Now, when I do bigger drawings, I work on something called Canson 1557 paper. So this is A2, and I did it for like my BMW M1000 drawing and also my Lego um, McLaren car. And yeah, this is also like 180 GSM, so it can handle all that pigment and it's smooth as well. Now, the next thing that I use is Nick Pro Mechanical Pencils. And the reason that I do this is because they're really nice and thin and they stay thin throughout the entire sketching process. And in the set, you also get like different pencils pencil grades, which I've never actually seen on like any other mechanical pencil sets. So these are actually really cool and I use them on every single one of my drawings. Really quickly, if you'd like to learn how to draw like me, I now have a free in-depth drawing course that covers everything from sketching to colored pencils to graphite, just basically everything you need to create really awesome drawings. It's completely for free and I'll leave that as a pinned comment down in the comment section. So with that said, let's get back to the video. So once I complete the sketch, I then go over it with a kneadable eraser and this is a kneadable eraser by Faber-Castell and this is really essential. It's really Really small but you definitely need to be using this on all of your drawings because you can remove any of the excess graphite that would otherwise smudge during the coloring in process and it also means that the sketchy lines aren't dark enough to show through in the final result so I would definitely recommend that you get one of these. So the next stage of my drawing process is using alcohol markers and I use Winsor & Newton Pro markers this is their set of 96 however recently I've been experimenting with some like cheaper markers as well more specifically the Ahuhu Honolulu markers and honestly I've been really impressed with these ones they're like a heck of a lot cheaper than the um, pro markers and if I'm being honest I think they're just as good if not better because you also get a really cool brush tip with them as well and the colors are super vibrant and yeah I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting a lot more of these because I'm super happy with how these are working and I'd highly recommend them to you instead of the Winsor & Newton Pro markers actually. So obviously I'm a coloured pencil artist and the exact coloured pencils that I use are Faber-Castell Polychromos and there are three reasons why I use these pencils. One is because their colour saturation is just unsurpassed. Two, they are oil based so blend together really well and they can also layer like extensively too so you can have like four or five different pencil layers and they'll still blend together really smoothly and not look blotchy. And number three is because I've dropped them off my table like many a times and they just don't seem to break. They're pretty indestructible but their only downside is they are rather expensive. Now I do believe that these pencils actually have a right to be expensive because they are just so insanely good and if you are like wanting to look at getting polychromos, if you can't quite stretch to a 120 pack what I'd recommend you do is just getting like a pack of 36 or even like a pack of 12 because I've created like some really cool drawings like with like this Robin and this Bluter here with just like a pack of 12 poly chromos because the fact that they blend together so smoothly just allows you to create an infinite number of colors down onto the page. So these next materials don't actually take me very long to use but they really help bring the drawing to life. So the first one is a touch story rubber pencil. Now this is basically a pencil but instead of a graphite lead it has rubber instead and this allows you to go really into those smaller details and just lift graphite to add in highlights and stuff if you're working with like graphite drawings. And something that I also use is a Derwent electric eraser and in my opinion this is actually better than the rubber pencil because you don't actually have to move it to erase stuff. You could just press the button at the top here and then it has a spinning barrel and then that spinning creates the friction with the page so that you can really be really precise um, with how you're lifting graphite off and stuff. And like you can also erase like mistakes that you make in the sketch without affecting the surrounding area. And yeah, this is definitely an essential part of my kit and I wish I knew about this sooner. So I'd highly recommend this. The next material is a Unipin Posca marker. Now this is a white pen and I use this for like the highlights that I do on like colored pencil drawings. And then after after I've used this I then go back in with the colored pencils and just blend it a bit and yeah again this is essential because it helps to bring that contrast up to really help the drawing pop and obviously we need just a standard eraser for when you really mess up and make like a huge mistake and this is literally no specific brand I don't even know which one this is it's just a, a rubber whatever you have lying around and then finally I use some Unipin fine liners sometimes to outline bits on my car drawings but mostly just for the signature and like adding the dates to my drawing as well so that was a very quick look at every single one of the materials that I use for my realistic pencil drawings. I'll have all of them linked down in the description and yeah with that said if you'd like to see some more drawing content just like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in the next one which should appear somewhere on screen right about now. So I shall see you over there. Thanks for watching.